Hello friends, welcome to the Azure DevOps tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will see like how we create organization on De Azure DevOps. In a bit, we will understand what is the meaning of organization in Azure DevOps. So basically, every organization where we work, this in Azure DevOps, there is a structure of the work and this structure is basically depend on the organization project and teams An organization is a mechanism for organizing and connecting group of related project and basically each project must belong to an organization and to work with Azure DevOps we must have at least one organization and we can create more than one organization as well as per our like uh, project requirement so basically like this azure devops organization help in handling multiple project efficiently without confusion suppose if we have multiple project and we want like create multiple separate azure devops organizations with one project in each organization so basically like uh, it is used to manage the project and the code in our organization so we will see like how we create the organization in Azure DevOps and like how we work with that organization and what all are the setting and the like uh, um, tools available for the organization. So let's go to the browser and search uh, like go for the URL. So when I go to the URL, like in the previous tutorial, we have created account on Dev Azure. So before proceeding with this tutorial, I recommend you please go to the part three of this tutorial series and see like how we create the account on Azure DevOps. So basically this account we have created and we have given this project name in the previous tutorial. And basically when we created this project and every project is basically comes under the organization. And you can see the organization name here is by default taken like Munesh uh, Sharma 16 and basically it is a email ID. And you can see the organization name here as well like basically the url of the organization is just like like dev azure.com and slash the organization name and it take us to that there and then it comes as the project now suppose that is the one project but i have another project also and i want to create a diff like a new organization with respect to that so and then what we can do just click on the new organization so when you will click on the new organization it will take us to this page and here we have to like uh, we have to tick on this checkbox and click on continue so when you will click on continue it will ask you your organization name so you can give any organization name like azure course org and here you can give like uh, where you want to locate it so i will take it as a default and when you will after giving this organization name and when, when you will click like confirm it will create a azure organization basically azure devops organization for us and for that like it will take us a um, few seconds to create that and once we create that like it will take us to the page where we have it will ask us to create a project to get started so basically in the coming video we will see like how this project works and how we work with that project but as of now like it has two type of visibility like you want to create that project as a public or the private and basically like now i i have two organization like one is the previous one when i go here it will give all the project whatever i have created even you can create multiple project once you click from here you can create the multiple project and even multiple organization as well so let's understand like the organization which we have created just now. So when you will click on this, it is asking to create the project. But instead of creating project, what I will do uh, here, like uh, you will see at the down. So when you will see uh, at down here, you will see organization setting. So every um, like organization have their setting. So when you will click on the organization setting, it will take you on the different page here and basically on this page you can see like uh, here uh, it is uh, saying overview and when you will click on the overview it will take you uh, the overview page and from here you can change uh, the organization name if you need it and here basically 
and like once you uh, change your organization name obviously with respect to that it will change the url for this as i explained like uh, every organization url is just like your dev azure.com and your organization name and here if you want to give your privacy url you can give and some other info if you need like description and time zone john if you want to change you can give here and apart from this it is has some other information like organization owner like who created this organization and if you want to delete that organization you can delete it from here and like if you have any created project it will uh, come here but as of now i don't have any project so it is not showing any project but if we will create any project it will show here and here users so basically when you will go under the user page you will see here like so here you will see like uh, this uh, basic uh, like who is the currently uh, how many users are there uh, for this organization so currently it is showing my name only because there is only one user and when you will go for the group rule here you can create the rule uh, for the like a uh, group if you are going to create any group here and when you will go on the blink tab here you will see like um, the for particular five user this azure devops is free but if you will uh, go more like if you will go more than five user then it will be like uh, like chargeable so based on that here it is showing and uh, another tab is the auditing here you can see all the logs and all the information like how the work is going based on that you can see here and here is the global notification so basically like it it is basically a notification tab where like if you create any user story or um, you assign any user story then on which condition you want the notification all those notification we can manage here like pull request we are added or removed so for that if you want the notification so all the operation whatever we are doing on based on that if we want the notification all those things we can manage here this like once we will start working with the azure devops we will see like how those notification and all these things works and when you will go for the uses so here all the uses um, will be there like uh, uh, what is the uh, operation is going on like basically here this information by default it is showing and next is the extension and this extension is basically like currently we don't have any external extension were found matching your criteria but if you want to see like um, what is the other uh, like extension is available then what you can do you just click on this um, browse my marketplace and when you will click on this it will take us to the external azure devops tool so these all are the tools or extension we can say available here and let's see another tab is like azure active directory so like it will connect us uh, or organization to azure active directory and basically this action map existing azure devops users in organization to their corresponding identities in azure ad so all like it's basically related to the active directory and the user so uh, like uh, how many member is um, uh, uh, like uh, there for uh, this azure active directory all those shown here and apart from this you can see here like uh, board and pipeline and all these things comes when we start working with the azure devops so once we'll start working with the azure devops we will see like what all are the board and the pipeline and artifact artifacts so these things we'll see once we'll start working on this because like this board is contain the user story and that user story we assign to developer and pipeline is basically it take the data from the repos and it is start compiling and testing unit testing for that uh, code which is committed on the server so all those information is taken on the like uh, on the pipeline so that those things we will see in the coming tutorial so in this tutorial we have seen like how we create the organization into the azure devops so basically when you will click on this home page azure devops so it will take us to the home page where we can see like how many uh, like uh, organization there in the project and if you want to see the project like for an example which we have created in the last tutorial while creating the account in azure devops we created this project and when you will click on this um, project it will take us to the inside like uh, 
here you will see board repos pipeline test plan and artifacts so all these things we will understand in the coming tutorial and even in the coming tutorial we will see like how we create the project in azure Dev devops so that's it for this tutorial if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you